Should you stop making videos? Maybe, we're gonna talk about it and we're starting right now. Okay, so I was at Video Marketing World and I was having a conversation with some people that are doing YouTube full-time, specifically people that I respect in a massive way. Sure, I'll name drop Roberto Blake and Steve Dotto. And we we're talking about how a lot of content creators, how they want all of these accolades. They want you know, all of these results from what it is that they're doing. They want their fans to be head over heels in terms of like supporting everything that they're doing and all of that. But there's one really big problem in all that that a lot of content creators are overlooking. And um, just ran into Starbucks here, so we're gonna go grab one of those, and then we're gonna sit down, and we're gonna talk about what that problem is. So you probably don't wanna hear this, but here are the facts. When you're putting out content that is there for the sake of you, in terms of, you know, hey, I'm out here in the world vlogging, and I'm making everything about me, in that situation, you need to earn that, right? Everybody wants to put out videos and like right away have people be like, oh my God, this is like the best thing in the world. However, that type of response is something that you earn. Here's what I mean. Yes, without question, you are important and without question, what you are doing is important. The stories that you're telling, the connections that you're making with people, the release of your creativity, the expressions of you all are extremely important. Here, hold on real quick. I gotta give this guy my ticket so they'll let me leave. But when you are making content for the internet, content that other people, other human beings are going to watch, you have to think of that viewer. You have to think of that person that's watching your content. It doesn't matter if you're doing vlogs, if you're doing gaming content, if you're doing how-to content, whatever type of content it is that you're making, it is critical that if you want people to like you in return, you want people to enjoy your content, you want people to be a part of what it is that you're doing, it is critical that there's an exchange taking place. It's not just you and hey, watch me play this game. It's not just you watch me travel around the world in all these cool locations. It's about what you're giving back to the viewer. And look, the more value that you can add to the people that are watching your videos, the better everything is going to be for you because when that exchange takes place and you are giving way more than you're getting at first, you're front loading your efforts there on the give, then what comes back to you in return, you're gonna get maximized in ways that you'll never even imagine right now. People will love what you're doing if you think of the viewer first. If the content decisions that you make are based around adding value to the people that are watching your content, thinking of the viewer first, you will win. People will dig what it is that you are doing. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to start now, okay? And I want you to start thinking about the people that are watching your videos. I want you to start thinking of how you can add value to the people that are consuming your content. With every piece of content you put out, think to yourself first, how is this adding something to the person that's gonna be watching this video? How in this exchange of their time for my content, how can I maximize what they are getting from me? And here's something I want you to remember when you're putting this together. Think, give big, get big. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.